On this episode, we're going to take a table of Starbucks locations and map them all around the world inside of Excel with the ability to custom format the points and labels. Be sure to hit the website in the description to check out all the sample workbooks and code. If you do a quick search, you can find a CSV of all the Starbucks locations. It's a little bit old, but it's got the information we can use to, to map it in Excel. If we use on the data tab, get data from file and say text CSV, so this is just CSV import, you can point to the text file and then load that up. Once you do that, you'll get a preview of the data. Here you can see everything's coming in pretty well. If it wasn't, this is where you could kick it off to Power Query and make some changes there. In this case, I'm just gonna take the data and just load it straight into a table uh, on the sheet. As you can see, you can see all the data in the table here, uh, including latitude, longitude, which is super helpful. Uh, if, it, if it didn't have it, we could also just use the address. Uh, auto filters are a great way to sort of look at what's in a column. So I can drop this down here and see, oh, hey, the brand name is actually like Tivana or Evolution Fresh or Starbucks. So that'll be useful to uh, highlight by category. And because we have the lat long, uh, that'll just be super accurate and easy to, to plot. Now we go to the insert tab with the table selected and you click 3D map and this will open up another window and immediately start plotting everything. You can play at the size a bit, but if we just browse around, you can kind of see where all the dots are forming up and you can scroll around the globe really easily here and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and it'll take you all the way down to the city level here. There's lots of options for the map. So in this case, I'll turn on map label so I can kind of identify where things are at uh, just by scrolling. And as you zoom in, you'll see that change and it turns in the counties, turns in the cities, turns in locations, just like any other mapping program would. Uh, there's also themes here. So if you prefer to have an actual sort of satellite view, you can set that up, set black and white as well to help emphasize the data points. Because maybe in this case here, the data points are a little too blended in. Looking at the task pane, you can see our location is mapped to the latitude and longitude, and those are just the column names in the table there. We have some layer options here where we can change the size, uh, opacity as well if you want a little more see-throughness. These points are customizable in a lot of ways. Let's look at what happens when you hover over one. You get a little card. Right now it shows the street and the city, but if you just go customize that card, you can add any field you want from the table, and then that'll show up in the tooltip when you hover over uh, the point again. To customize the colors, let's look at the category and pick that brand name that we saw before. You can see we now have a legend that shows the different colors and their labels and everything went to purple for the most part because there's a lot more Starbucks and everything else. We'll go ahead and customize that Starbucks label to be green because that's a bit of their logo. And as we zoom in, we can see some of the other colors there. So now we can see the Tivanas and other things standing out. Over time data works really well too. So if we add a first scene, to the time option in the pane, you can see that we get a play button with a little timeline uh, that allows you to play over time the different stores that are showing up. And this will work with any data that you have uh, that's date based. It'll know how to put that in a timeline and play it back uh, over time. There's options for the points too, so we can change it to be a heat map. And then as we zoom in and out, you can see a heat map of where uh, the different Starbucks are, the different stores uh, are at. And as you zoom out to the whole US in this case, you can kind of see where the major cities are and the density of, of Starbucks in those locations. The furthest away from home Starbucks I've ever been to is in this place called the Hotel Taj. It's in Mumbai. It was very beautiful there, but also very hot. It was right on the ocean, which was awesome to be at. It had a delicious food and it was near a gateway that had a big party and I didn't know too much about it, but I did get to meet Gandalf when I was there. And with that, we're at the end of the episode. If it's interesting, give it a thumbs up. If it's incredible, give me a sub and I'll see you in the next one.